All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high-level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Murrieta, California, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, Monster. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the fitting takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Body attack and it's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. All right, single collar tie now. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. What does he do now that he has this clinch position? He changes the angle. Finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Stay sharp. Under three minutes remain in round one. Let's go. Keep that Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. And lands the left there. Just over two minutes to go in round one. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice hook lands. Ninety seconds now to go in this one. All right, so a nice shot there. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This 
dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Slips the punch. Oh, big knee! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, take a seat. Listen, relax, breathe. You're gonna be okay. It's fine. We've been here before. We just... All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up. See, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots to the top. Just over three minutes to go. Huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with that. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Trying to kick the leg out. Beautiful body kick. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, collar tie. Oh! But he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here. Goes down again! Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. He got him bad! Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Gets up again here, but hurting. Nice leg kick. Oh! He's out! Wow! Wow! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and marched right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You go on the after party or what?